dear class 9 student today we are going to do uh, in text question of chapter 2 that is is matter around us pure we'll do let's go to uh, page number 15 take out your book and go to page number 15 first question is what is meant by pure substance the answer is a material that is composed of only one type of particle is called pure substance all the constituent particles of pure substance have the same chemical structure Chem chem uh, sorry chemical nature so question number two list the point of difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture so i have made the table in this column that is homogeneous mixture and here in the uh, in, in this column it is heterogeneous mixture so homogeneous mixtures have uniform uniform composition whereas heterogeneous mixtures have non-uniform composition it has no visible boundaries of separation between its constituents Whereas in heterogeneous mixture, it has visible boundaries of separation between the constituents. Now go to page number 18. The question number one is differentiate between homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture with the same use. So it is done. It is uh, in page number 15. The question number two is the same question. Okay. You can go through it. You read it. Okay, now we go to question number two. What are how are soul solution and suspension different from each other? So I made the table. Here it is solution, here soul, and one is this is suspension. Number one, solution. Huh? It is homogeneous mixture. So sol is heterogeneous mixture. It is also heterogeneous mixture. Particles are smaller than one nanometer and are not visible to naked eyes but the soul are also small particles are very small so it is also not visible with the naked eyes the size of the particle is too small to be seen by our naked eyes suspension particles are visible okay third they do not scatter beam of light that is they do not show tyndall effect whereas soul soul show Tyndall effect that is they scatter beam of light passing through them even uh, suspension scatter beam of light passing through them they show Tyndall effect number four solute particles cannot be separated by the process of filtration and sedimentation even solute particles even uh, solute particle of soul is also inseparable with the process of filtration and suspension sedimentation sorry particles can be separated by the process of filtration and sedimentation now question number three to make a solution of 36 gram of sodium chloride is dissolved in 100 grams of water at 293 Kelvin find its concentration at this temperature answer we are given mass of the solute sodium chloride m1 equal to 36 gram mass of the solvent water equal to m2 equal to say m2 equal to 100 gram then mass of the solution that is m solution is equal to m1 plus m2 equal to 36 gram plus 100 gram that is 136 gram so concentration of the solution is mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution into multiplied by 100 percent equal to m1 plus divided by m1 plus m2 equal to 30 m1 is 36 and m1 plus m2 is 136 multiplied by 100 equal to 26.47 percent now go to page number 34 how will you separate a mixture containing kerosene and petrol difference in their boiling point is more than 25 degrees centigrade which are miscible with each other Kerosene and petrols are visible liquids. The difference between the temperature boiling point is more than 25 degrees centigrade. So they can be separated by the method of distillation. 
so here is the picture i mean the figure for uh, for separation for separation of petrol and kerosene okay so we'll reduce the picture okay the picture uh, figure is like this this is the uh, distillation flask and this this liquid inside is mixture of the kerosene and the petrol now this is the condenser water condenser from which water flow from this in inlet and out of the from this outlet it it goes out okay now when we heat the solution the since the, uh, the boiling point of kerosene is uh, lower than the petrol the kerosene will evaporate and will and will simultaneously will see the temperature also at what temperature it evaporates okay it starts evaporate then it will go through this condenser condenser here the water vapor will condense and again convert to liquid kerosene in this way we can separate the uh, kerosene and petrol mixture okay okay we, i have written like this in this method the mixture of the kerosene and the petrol is taken in a different distillation flask with a thermometer fitted in it we also need a beaker a, a water condenser and a bunsen burner the apparatus is arranged as shown in the figure above then the okay the uh, this we have to increase the size of the font in this method a mixture of kerosene and petrol is taken in a distillation flask with a thermometer fitted in it we also need a beaker a, con a water condenser and a bunsen burner the apparatus is arranged as shown in the figure above then the mixture the mixture is heated slowly the thermometer could, should be watched simultaneously kerosene will vaporize and condense in the water condenser the condensed kerosene is collected from the condenser outlet whereas petrol is left behind in the distillation flux in this way we can separate petrol and kerosene mixture now go to question number 2 name the technique to separate number 1 butter from curd salt from sea and camphor from salt so butter and butter from curd can be separated by the method of centrifugation this is the centrifugation and salt from sea water can be separated by evaporation camphor from salt can be done with the help of sublimation what type of mixtures are separated by the technique of crystallization the crystallization technique is used to purify solids like copper sulfate crystal we can get pure copper sulfate crystal pure sodium chloride or nacl common salt etc now again in page number 4 there are two two more questions so we'll do the, the first question is classify the following as chemical and physical changes cutting of trees is a physical change okay so cutting of tree is physical change melting melting of butter in a pan is also a physical change rusting of almira is a kel change boiling of water to form steam is also a physical change passing of electric current through water and the uh water water breaking down into hydrogen and oxygen gases is a chemical change dissolving of common salt in water is a physical change
making a, making a fruit salad with raw fruits is also, is a physical change burning of paper and wood is a chemical is a chemical change now question number 2 try to segregate the things around you as pure substance or mixture so this question you do it yourself thanking thank you very much we are done for today in the next 